Air Force helicopters and the Army in general are integral in fighting terror in Gaza, where daily targets affiliated with Hamas and rocket launching cells are targeted. The question that remains to be asked is what will happen when Hamas is in the possession of anti-aircraft missiles and downs an Air Force helicopter in Gaza. Such a scenario almost took place over the weekend. Hamas announced over the weekend they'd hit an Air Force helicopter, which was later confirmed by the Army. Air Force officials on Sunday noted that the threat of its helicopters being targeted by Hamas is growing, and that it's become one of Hamas's key aims. A Hamas spokesman declared that the aim is not only a prestigious one for the movement, but that they intend to topple a helicopter and capture a pilot dead or alive, a move that will improve bargaining chips for any future prisoner release. The Air Force, concerned over Friday's incident, has implemented a number of precautionary measures, including deploying aircraft with anti-missile defense systems, and assess that Hamas will continue its attempts to smuggle all kinds of weapons into Gaza, especially after spokesman Abu Obeda announced Hamas had taken control of Fatah weapons following the takeover, and guaranteed Israel a surprise. Israel fears another scenario similar to Gilad Shalit that will plunge the area into further chaos. Without a doubt, Operation Warm Winter dealt a hard blow to Hamas, but at the same time shed light on Hamas's arsenal. Chances of calm appear more distant than ever, and an almost certain escalation looms ahead.